ASAP allows you to import and export IGES files from a CAD program or to a CAD program. Let's take a look at it. Uh, to import an IGES file, I'm just going to go to my file menu here and select open and I'm going to select files of type IGES and I've already created an IGES file. Files of type IGES. Open mode is auto so I'm going to click on open. I will accept the defaults here and what I have is an object that's called parab. It's simply a parabola. I can choose to modify the information as well. For instance, I can put media information, coding information. So if I select modify, for instance, I might, since it's going to be a reflector, I can put a reflecting coating on it and say that the surface is in air. And I can also choose to make it any particular color of interest. And today, I want a magenta mirror. So I'll just click on OK select file and then finish and I have my IGES file within ASAP. I can run the file and we can take a three-dimensional look at the object. And here's my parabola that I created in a CAD program and I've brought into ASAP. Similarly, I might have a file that I've created in ASAP that I want to send out to a CAD program. And in this particular case, what I've got is a sapphire dome, or the material doesn't matter, I have a, a dome. So let's run the file and take a look at the geometry. So again, I've just defined the inner and the outer surfaces of the dome. And within my ASAP script file, or down in my command input window down here, I can issue a CAD export command and I'm going to create an IGES file called Dome, and I'll be able to read this in a CAD program. And in particular, I'm going to open up SolidWorks, and if I choose to open SolidWorks and go to my current ASAP working directory, I'm going to look for files that are of type IGES, and I have my Dome. So let's open it up. And we'll choose to run the import diagnostics. And you'll notice that there's an indication that there are some problems in the file. And the reason for the problems are that, as you saw in the ASAP file, we define the inner surface and the outer surface. And the CAD program wants to know what about the edges. I didn't create the edges within ASAP, but maybe for my CAD program I want to do that. So what I can do is ask SOLIDWORKS to heal that gap, and we'll need to do it from both sides, okay, and then repair this face, and now we have the complete geometry with the edges bounded, and I can now do whatever I need to do within my CAD program.